you look at your screen, you will see that the motor itself has two major components. Okay, so we have the stator. On the stator, we have the stator winding. Okay, then we have the rotor, which is the rotating part of the electric motor. Why the stator is the stationary part of the electric motor. So if you look at this stator critically, you will see that this they have windings laid on the stator yoke. Okay, so these windings they are three phase windings and they are placed in three phase or they are wound in three phase beds. And each of these beds they are separated from one another by 120 electrical degrees okay so this we need to keep at the back of our mind when we are looking at the input power supply to this electric motor because that power the phase difference must also be 120 electrical degrees if not that can cause the mal operation or can affect the reliability of the electric motor system. Then if you also look at the rotor, you will see that the rotor has um, uh, conducting bars, okay? These that you are seeing, they are conducting bars. They are conducting bars that take the place of these windings that you have in the rotor. Then at each end of this conducting bars, we have the shorty ring, okay, which is tagged the aluminium ring on this particular rotor, as you can see. So now, when you power the, the, the stator winding, okay, with your three phase power supply, what happens is that the magnetic field is created around these windings okay so since the phases are changing constantly it means that each of the phase beds is magnetized different at different times or at diff uh, different uh, instances okay so that rotating magnetic field since we are supplying alternating current that rotating magnetic field we have the effect of inducing current into these rotor windings, okay? So this current as they flow through this rotor winding before they are shorted at each end of the rotor bar, okay, or the rotor ring, you will see that another magnetic field is created along these conducting bars on the rotors. So those magnetic field, when put together, you will see that it will create a very great magnetic field that will now interact with the main magnetic field from the stator itself. And then that interaction will result to torque being exerted on the rotor. And then eventually the rotor will turn. So that is exactly what you are seeing here now. Okay. So the supply of the three phase power supply to your electric motor and then once the power supply is close to the motor what will happen is that the motor will start to rotate that is the rotor will start to turn so that is how the rotor and the stator interact okay so if anything changes the these interactions between the stator and the rotor, it will also affect the integrity and the reliability of uh, the electric motor system. So, as was said earlier, the three phase they come at different uh, times. Okay, since these windings they are separated 120 electrical degrees, these phases they also come at that uh, electrical separation. So that means that each of them will be magnetized at those different times, okay? So we'll end up having rotating magnetic feed around the stator winding. So anything that affects this arrangement will also affect 
the reliability of the electric motor system. So that is how the electric motor briefly works.